For this problem, we have a telephone signal travels by landline from New York City to Miami. So we have a distance, which is a 1,100 mile distance. Then we have the signal travels at two thirds the speed of light. So the speed of light is given to us down here. It is C is equal to three times 10 eighth meters per second. And we are just gonna take the two thirds of that speed. So we'll have this in a telephone company's wires we are asked what is the travel time so we need to find time what is the travel time for the signal from one way from new york to miami so we know we need to find time so we can write this out with a t and then we can start solving for this problem by plugging things in but before we even do that we should do our conversions to make sure we are plugging in the proper numbers so we have the first distance, which is 1,100 miles. Well, we don't measure in miles, we measure in meters. So we need to convert this to meters. We'll do our conversion right here. We have 1,100 miles. We will denote this with a uppercase M over one is equal to one mile. And then we have to put how many meters are in one mile up here. If we do a quick Google search, we will see that we have one mile is equivalent to 1,609.344 meters. After this, we can multiply this out um, and cancel out, uh, we should mark this, we should cancel out our miles so that we're just left with meters. And after we plug this into our calculator, we are going to get the value 1770278 meters so this is the first part converted now we have to figure out our signal against the speed of light so we have our speed of light which is 3 times 10 to the eighth meters per second and we are taking this by two-thirds or as it says right here 0 0.66 but um, we can notice that we have a 3 on top and 3 on bottom so we can cancel out these threes and then we are just going to be left with a simple 2 times 10 to the 8th, which is scientific notation, meters per second. Now to plug this in, we are going to plug our distance up top and our speed of light on the bottom. So we'll do t is equal to the distance divided by the speed, we can just call this speed c for speed of light. Plugging in our values, we have T is equal to 1770278 meters divided by 2 times 10 to the 8th meters over, and this should be meters over second, but since it's meters over second, we'll just throw the S for seconds up top. We are going to cancel out our meters and then put this into a calculator. So we have 1770278 divided by, and in parentheses, 2 times 10 to the 8th. After we do this, we are going to get that our time value, or t, is equal to 0 0.00885 seconds. Now our answer is asking us for milliseconds, and milli is 10 to the negative third power. So we have our seconds up top, we're going to put this over 1, we're going to say this is being multiplied by one millisecond because we want to convert this into milliseconds so we're going to have something seconds below and from our notes in section 1.2 at the very last table we know that one millisecond is equal to 10 to the negative three so below we're going to have 10 negative three or negative cubed seconds from here, we are going to cancel out our s's, and then we can see that we have a milliseconds up top. We can get rid of this 10 to the negative 3 by just moving this decimal spot over 1, 2, 3 times. Because what we have to do is when we're multiplying this by 10 to the negative 3, we are going to, well, technically we're dividing it right now, but if we want to multiply it to make things easier, we are going to flip this to the top so it becomes 10 cubed, and then we have to move this three to the positive size, which is why we move it one, two, three times. And this gives us the answer of T is equal to 8.85 milliseconds. And this is our answer right here.
Again, as I explained in the last problem, if we didn't know exactly how to plug this in, if we accidentally plugged in distance divided by speed, but instead we did uh, speed over distance, we would get an improper um, unit right here. We would have one over our seconds. So if we did that, we would know we did it incorrectly, and so we would just have to flip our units. And that is the answer for this problem, 8.85 milliseconds.